So my name is Barry Jenkins, um, and uh, I am a team owner in Virginia Beach. I'm also uh, um, the head realtor in residence at Wailobo. And so, um, and uh, I'm also, I'll let Gabe introduce himself, but we work together um, helping Wailopo users both on the product side and training and speaking. And we have the honor of kind of going over some of the stuff that we're excited about today. But Gabe, let them know how amazing you are, buddy. First of all, I, I, pleasure to work with this man. As much as I teased <laughs> him, it's been awesome. Uh, yeah, Gabe Cordova here in Denver, Colorado, uh, uh, part of Robert Slack. Uh, work on the expansion uh, teams, uh, Texas, Idaho, Colorado, and then just some of the future growth that we've got going there. So I see Laura is, Robert Slack is in the house, love it. Um, but yeah, and also a uh, realtor in residence here with Barry, Matt, Levia, Jim, Chris, there's others that are not on here, but really excited today because we actually get to kind of uh, show you some of the things that Barry and I've been working on. And I think it's one of the you know, blessings and things I enjoy being in the industry, in the trenches, still working with our teams, uh, you know, going on some appointments uh, from time to time, helping some of the newer agents, but it's some of the product features and tool set that you and I, there've been, a, let me be very clear, a lot of team members to make it happen, but Barry and I've got to be very instrumental, I think, in just creating and talking through how we would use it or how our agents would use it and really seeing a company Put that to use right outside how just right. a tech company would build something so it's been really cool to get to work on some of these and we get to share a good chunk of those today yeah i think that's that's the big big thing so the, the way that wilopo has worked over the years is they have um hired subject matter experts so real estate agents like gabe and i uh that get to work in product um and try to solve problems that are um very much like we're all confronted with. And so the, the significance of that is like, you know how sometimes software companies can, they can build these really great, amazing big features. And it's like, yeah, but I really just want to like be able to talk to more buyer leads. Like, can you help me with that? Like, you know, and so they're trying to solve like these huge dilemmas and not really solving our core issues. And um, so, yeah, uh, really excited to go over some of that today with you guys. And, um, you know, since it's a smaller group today, what we can do is if you do have questions about some of the, the products, if you just want to type it in the chat, we can we can try to answer those the best we can. Yeah. And we'll be recording this. Uh, so if you registered, came in the link, uh, the email address that the link went to, uh, you will get a, a recording of this. And yeah, I like it. It's a small group, make it organic and just kind of talk, realtor talk and, and just yeah. kind of go through some of these and, and update what's going on. So uh, do you want to pull up some of our visuals? You want me to pull those up, Barry? Yeah, I got it. Got it. I will pull up the slide. And then while he's doing that. So again, yeah, please ask. We're, I, I know one of them we're going to spend a lot of time on. We'll get to right away. Um, and then if you're interested in some of the tools, right? So one thing I'm loving is that we've spent a lot of time growing more of the tool set. Uh, not that there hasn't been improvement on the marketing and all that. There's some things in here too that you're going to see on there, but really, really excited about just what the, you know, I hate even saying base, but that what you get as far as the tool set uh, right inside of uh, Ylopo from the beginning uh, that you guys get as agents, your team members, and even as team leads that we're using to, to convert more leads and, and stay in front of just any and all the changes happening, whether it is the market, uh, NAR, any of that, we've got some updates here for you. Yeah. And so to, the title is, you know, the tools that are level the playing field and increase your closings. And we know that August 17th changed a lot about how many of you were having to run your businesses uh, as far as how you, how your buyer interactions were occurring. And one of the, the things that we've already mentioned with Ylopo, because we do have so many in the weeds, uh, you know, agents that are actually working in the business, speaking directly into the product, we're able to be very relevant. Um, so, you know, we're going to, we're going to go over some tools today that help you prepare for the NAR post settlement environment. So we've, we've spent a lot of time working on that, investing time, money, other resources to try to help our users to continue to be a success. Um, you know, having more sellers from your lead generation was a big initiative for us is how can we find more ready now listings, ready now sellers from what we're doing. So we've been able to accomplish that. 
keeping the sellers on your website. That's the seller experience. We'll talk about how we're able to keep homeowners engaged with the content that Wailopo is providing. That's a really, I would say, candidly, in my business, that's more important than generating new, new sellers. So keeping the sellers I already have, keeping the homeowners I already have in my database on my website for me is incredibly valuable. I'm not saying seller leads aren't valuable, but for me, you know, improvement to the seller experience, it makes it sticky. Uh, dynamic video ad upgrades. So we'll go over what that means and how, why a dynamic video advertisement is so compelling for our industry. Um, huge, huge, uh, you know, master's degree lift for our AI texting and how it's approaching conversation. The numbers are just insane. And we've been able to automate some daily digest. So there's a lot. It's a lot, Gabe. And you know what's not even on here? Uh, and I don't even, didn't realize until I was like now watching it from, from a different seat is, and we're going to get into this. It's not even just the more engagement with the consumers and doing all that and all you see on here, but mm -hmm. we've spent an incredible amount of time on how are we tying all this increased engagement into your CRM, like follow up boss, something like that, to make it easier for you to now react. Uh, and either whether it's taking over AI conversations or the enhanced seller experience and all that, but not only just generate all this, but really how we've adapted it and brought it into the CRM to really get granular and look for these opportunities without having to go look for like a needle in a haystack, right? So it's yeah. things that a result of all this, but then we also made it easier within the system. Uh, between the tagging and the alerts, the way we phrase them, uh, the smart lists, all of that, uh, the widgets, I think we might even hit on that to make this easier to find because it's great if all this is happening, but if you or the agents on your team can't find it and respond to it easily, it's, it's you know, it's kind of lost. So uh, yeah, let's just jump into these. I, I know we're not even gonna have enough time to cover all of this. Yeah, so uh, first thing uh, that uh, we've got here is we developed a new course. I don't see the... the... I, I took the QR code off on this just because uh, okay. I think it required a, uh, an account to get in there. So okay. All I'm right. getting a, a bum QR code. So, so <clears throat> both Gabe and I um, are devoting our time to coaching YLOPO users along with the rest of the Realtor in Residence team. And uh, in a past life, we charged a lot per hour, thousands per hour to give our consultant work. And what we decided to do was free for YLOPO customers is develop a course that helps you articulate your value to potential buyers and to do this, this value, uh, to, to understand your value, to know your worth and to articulate it with conviction. Uh, generally speaking, buyers agents haven't had to talk a lot about uh, their uh, their compensation structure with with buyers. And if I asked you right now, if we were sitting in a coffee shop and I said to you, "Why are you valuable as a buyer's agent?" If you don't know how to share in two sentences quickly why you're valuable to a potential homeowner, this course will help you do that. It's about forty minutes. It's content from both Gabe and I. And uh, we've been we've been working on this subject, my team specifically, for over a year, because I knew this was coming, and so I knew if I could empower my sales organization to know their worth, to articulate their worth, and go over an agency agreement. Now I don't go over like the legal side of the agency agreement. We go over how to go over an agency agreement because there's a psychology to it, and some of you are getting hemmed up in the details. And you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're scaring people away. So this course goes over that. Gabe, anything you want to yeah. add there? No, I, I think it's great. I mean, this is there's no cost to this course. I think you might have said that, but there's no cost to this course, right? This is something that we're putting in because we we have tools that we're going to get to, I think, here uh, next as well. But we have tools that we're also putting in your fingertips to help have these conversations, to have talking points. And then the course uh, really goes into that, especially knowing you have some of these at your fingertips, to be able to have these conversations, have them confidently, and the results in getting signatures on, on the BBA. So, yeah. uh, and, and to be able to have it quickly, right at your fingertips. So that was another thing we wanted to make sure uh, that we, that we got for you guys. So, um, so going into that, one of the, one of the new tools uh, is our, our buyer presentation. This is something that we built from the ground up with the uh, product team uh, at Wailopo. And, and we had calls as soon as we knew this was going to become, you know, uh, becoming to agents and the, and the date and that most agents or teams may not have uh, the ability to create something custom and 
uh, unique to their brand, to their colors, to that client, to to their sales, to their reviews, to every their market. Uh, we really sat down to figure out how do we get a tool that's not a one size fits all that allows that's easy to use, right? That you can literally generate in less than thirty seconds, custom to a market area and to a potential client, um, but also have enough information in it and be on brand that you could then go in and customize anywhere you want to, to be more true to your business or your state or your MLS, wherever there are differences, because we know it's not one size fits all. And um, man, a couple months, I mean, it's still still in progress, right? We're still finding little things, but this was, this was probably one of the uh, coolest projects I've got to work on here at Wailo, because it truly is, there's a change coming, we know it's a need. Uh, and it was literally built from the trenches of product and stuff that Barry and I both have and things that we're doing and saying and teaching to our agents to present uh, and now bringing it uh, to our users to have at their fingertips. So are you good if I share it real quick? Yeah, well, I, yeah, that's what I, I, I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and go through uh, as he's pulling that up. Our heart was, how can we empower you if you're not used to talking to a buyer about your compensation. How can we empower you to show an immense amount of value very quickly? And so uh, this is this is for Ylopo customers. This is the tools page. There's lots of tools here, and this is one of them. Um, and these are all free for Ylopo customers. And uh, and so, Gabe, what I'd love to do is don't let's not take them through the full like how to create it let's let's just quickly show that and then let's go through a report so they can see because this to be Absolutely. candid with you that doesn't sound sexy like as i'm talking about it i'm like okay a buyer presentation who cares once they see it though i feel like it'll be yeah. a big deal i love it so yeah quick overview like he said there's gonna be some options like any of your presentations you've created create one uh, from scratch which is still is really quick or i'll get into where we've already created we know what we want so it's as fast as uh, typing in the name of who you are going to be working with, the city in which uh, you are going to uh, be selling or you want to present maybe some market stats, something like that. Uh, all the way, and I'm not going to go through all this, pulling in reviews that you may have on Zillow or on your Google page. Um, and then some optional pages, right, that you can include a, a page talking about the industry, uh, NARS 105 ways, how uh, we earn our, our compensation. Uh, and then pulling the theme, which is from our branded site that our clients already have, and literally hitting create. So, I mean, it's yeah. incredibly fast. It's it, You just saw it uh, to where you can pull up a presentation and now have something to send to this consumer, whether it's digitally or print off and add to what you already have. Um, but you now have talking points, right? And it's a full well, on report. Yeah. And like, you know, if you think about um, if you're going to invest $500,000 and your financial advisor meets with you, you know, to have a boilerplate five page PDF that your brokerage created, you know, don't get me wrong. That's better than nothing. But if you see here, he typed my name and now my name, uh, is on that report. So it, it really, it, it looks custom from page one. Yeah. And everything on here, and we're not going to go through full training, is customizable, right? If I just want to change the wording on something, it's a matter of clicking in here, changing the wording, uh, you know, just anything you want from how you're presenting. It's going to put a, 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 cu a custom letter. If you want to customize what's in here, it's literally just type in what you would like it to say. It's going to pull your bio, your information, your photo, uh, everything from what we already have on, on file for your branded website. This is the market area that I, you know, maybe I know where Barry's looking, or maybe it's my primary market area. And I just want to have some stats and trends that are going on in that area at the fingertips that uh, I can present to Barry and go over with him. Uh, well, and like, that. go back up for just a second. Like yep. you look at this, this, this data that we're pulling the, your local market on is from a third party that's actually really expensive. And like, if I'm going over this, I get to say to Gabe, hey, I know that you're looking in Boise. If you look, and in March, we were down to 240 listings, but now there's been a big change. In August, we're back up to 462 uh, listings. And so now it's a buyer's market. Buyers get more, uh, you know, you can you can negotiate more, right? Because sellers are motivated. So this is this allows you to be very relevant with what is going on in the market 
just by typing in what city you think they're looking in. See that this is what we're getting at. This is why this tool is so significant. You get to sit down and say to them, I've studied where you're looking. Here's some data that I've compiled for you. It just, it sells so well. Yep. And, and they're talking points, right? Maybe you don't want to, you can add more than one market. You can drill it down to zip code, whatever you want. Uh, you know, a, a process, what's going through for you to talk to. If you don't do one of these steps or something like that, do you want to change it, remove it, or just type in, right. edit it? But we wanted to give you a starting point so you have something to go through, well, right? And and they 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 wanted Gabe and I to basically create this for <laughs> every state. And I was like, no. <laughs> like, so Not. in this, you know, I don't use the phrase escrow and to, to list number five, I'm an attorney state. So I'm, for my agents, we're going to delete that, right? And we're going to save it and we can duplicate it. So we don't have to keep doing it each time. And if you don't like one of these steps, you can remove it, um, which is very valuable. Yep. Uh, one of ours, which I, I liked what our agent did, did in person and right. They just wanted I, to really highlight that. that they're, you know, yeah. it, again, it's just, it's that fast to make an adjustment so that this report, uh, and again, you'll be able to save this, not just for this consumer, but as Barry mentioned, you'll be able to save this and now just duplicate it to start from here. And again, at that point, all you're changing is what market do you want and what's the name? So uh, I also love because uh, Wailopo has a powerful IDX site. Uh, and data, it is going to pull in and you've got options here. This will vary by MLS, but I've got a marketing uh, partner, right? My, my lender comes in, she helps with our lead generation and all that, build directly through YLOPO. So I have the ability now to also show and bring her in as part of my professional network. Let's say I have another one I want to add in here, an inspector or a title company or whatever. I could add a second one just by that click of a button and typing in a few things. Uh, but then what's really cool is I can now also show them what's going on in this market. Outside the market data that was pulled up above, I can now bring in what's available uh, in this market, right? Uh, now this MLS doesn't import sold data. It brings in active listings. So I can see where the active listings are in this area, what's going on. Uh, Barry's market and others has sold data. So you'll have a toggle here where maybe I wanna show how many homes my brokerage has sold. Uh, you're talking more about what we're doing. If your MLS yeah. doesn't feed it, you can import it and do it manually. This is a limitation of the MLS that we've had to put on here, but this can show two different things, active listings or sold, which is also cool when you're meeting with them. And by the way, hey, Barry, do you have your phone on you? I want to make sure you can scan this, make sure it comes up. Uh, instant access to these homes right on your mobile device. So I have a QR code going to these homes where during this presentation, I can get these potential clients now on my site on their phone while we're meeting. Sorry, Barry. No, no, no. It's great. Well, look, I mean, so you're sitting down with them at this point, you've gone over the market, you've gone over the closing process. And this page to me is why Gabe, in my opinion, one of the reasons why we got so excited about this, because normally this stuff is all boilerplate here. I'm able to say things like, listen, I know that uh, I still need to hear more about your search, but I've curated 627 homes on my search site based on the criteria you gave me, right? It, it just, because again, I'm trying to tell them I'm worth whatever 2%, 2.5%, 3%. If they're buying a million dollar home, I'm trying to say to them, I'm worth $20,000, 20 to $30,000. And so this, this shows them I'm already working for you, right? And then to Gabe's point, the reason why we did the map was because I, in my market, it's a disclosure market. So like I can see past sales. And so on mine, it pulls up all of our recent sales in the market that they're looking in. So if they're looking in Virginia Beach, it's going to show them that uh, I've, I've sold 300 homes in their area or whatever. And so that, you know, because th this was meant to visualize the statement that we make where we say, oh, I'm very active in the area you're looking. Well, now I get to show them that. And then under this is where it pulls in the reviews, which is a great section. Yep. And I want and I didn't want to do this because I want you can pull it and I'll come back and show you. You can pull directly from Zillow, Google, select, or because it comes up a lot of times. What if I don't have a whole lot or it's only my company, but I've got some personal ones that aren't published on Zillow or uh, on Google? Literally, I can just now type them in. If I've got some, I can copy and paste, and then I've got those in here. I just literally uh, type, or you can pull direct from Zillow and all that. There was a question in cool. chat uh, from Stephanie saying, Hey, I think you're she's currently a user. Uh, not seeing, and I believe what you're saying is you're not seeing presentation at the top. Uh, we've got it released, I think, to around 500 teams right now because it is in beta, but it comes out of beta, wide release to every user, I think, Monday or Tuesday. 
Uh, so if you don't see it right now, that could be why not every team chose to sign up for our beta because uh, there are things that change on there. So if you're not seeing it as a current user, that's why, but it'll be there next week for all users. Um, yeah, and I like pulling, if you don't have any reviews on Zillow, if you don't have any reviews on Google, then you know there's nothing you can do about it. But I like pulling them from there because it actually says it's from Google or it says it's from Zillow. It just adds a layer of credibility uh, on the report. So it, it, you know, if you have it, great. If you don't, it's not the end of the world, but definitely uh, would recommend you you pulling it in. So he, you see here where he's just typing his name and- So we do ours under, it, the, under the company. So you would just type in what your Google business, where you find it through here. And when you pull them in, it's gonna find your company and then it's gonna pull the most recent reviews. If you see one you don't want and don't wanna include it, just uncheck it, right? But whatever you do, when you hit add these, these reviews will now be part of that presentation. I'll show you a complete full on presentation here in a second and how we can update it. So now this so is again, one of the pages, right? Super customizable, pulling in automated data. That's like, we're what? We're 20 something minutes into this content and we've really gone only gone over one feature. Sure. And that's because right now, all of you are, are if, if you're paying attention, you're, you're grappling with how do I get them to sign something at the beginning of the relationship that says, if you buy a home during this contract period, I get X amount of percent. And okay. some of you are like, well, I don't want to have that conversation. So I'm going to sign the, I call it the free trial one where you get around it. The problem with that is if sellers aren't required to disclose in the listing what their pay is and you go show a home and they haven't disclosed what their, their commission is and you get them to fall in love with the home, the buyer falls in love with the home and then you find out after the seller's like, oh, I'm not paying a commission. You don't have a leg to stand on, okay? Yeah. So you can't just kind of go with the flow anymore. You've got to get ahead of the problem or in six months from now, you're going to be struggling financially and that's why this is so important. Uh, agreed. Uh, this is an optional page. We wanted to to get you guys to where it just do, it does talk about the changes and why this is required now. Um, so again, just like everything else, uh, you can come in if you, if the verbiage is a little bit different than what you're used to or your state has um, as far as the agreements and all that. Again, it's just as simple as clicking in here and changing any of this. One of the things I didn't highlight above. Also, every image that's on here. If you don't like what's in there, all you need to do just click it. Um, and you can pick an image from your computer, whatever you have, upload it, it replaces it. It's all framed in, all of that. But now another great talking point to the interest, again, the idea of the flow, right? It's it's a, it's a greeting from you, a little bit of stats, your bio, what's going on. Um, we're talking about the market, offering some value and expertise, availability when it comes to the home search site, reviews, what our past clients are talking about. Now this page is really kind of now a transition because the goal here is, is this is leading you to now ask for the signatures on that BBA, that uh, broker agreement that, that you have to get signed, tour agreement, whatever it is, right? Come in here and customize because this is leading into what you're going to be asking on signatures for, all right? Again, if you don't like the page, you're like, hey, I don't want to talk about it. It's not important to me. You don't have to include it. This page can be removed, but it's in there. So you have a starting point to edit something or then remove it if you don't want it. Right. Uh, another optional section, uh, most everybody has probably seen this, 105 ways, we're in compensation, we've put this through here. Again, customize it. If you're like, you know what, this is too many, I wanna narrow it down to, to 50, change it to 50. I've seen somebody come in, delete page two, and they've just edited this down. Like, make it you, whatever you wanna do. But again, we wanna give you a starting point and talking points that are all available to you that you're paying for through your different memberships and bring them into a tool here uh, at YLOPO. So that comes through. It does a closing page, who you are, your contact information, again, all fed, all the disclosures, all of that. So we're already halfway through, like you mentioned, you would hit save, away you go. What I wanna show you guys too is another great thing that we've done that's an option for you. So we talked about Hey, that's great, but I don't want to edit this every time. Perfect. All right, I'm going to show you a full report. So you have your team lead and admin system has the ability to create a template now for your entire office. That's what I've done here. Once you do it, they'll see it right at the top above any of their presentations. So now all they're doing is hitting duplicate. I'll show you just what we did. We changed the color. Yes, it pulled our primary color from our branded side, but we wanted this to have a different 
uh, color on it, right? Uh, we, we changed the greeting letter a little bit, right? Barry and I did the best we could to put something in there that we thought would work for everyone. But I want to customize this, but I don't want to customize it every single time, right? We wanted to bring in our real trends uh, uh, verified logo and put it on top of one of them, right? We wanted to bring in some stats about us on this proven track record, right? Our ranking nationally, the amount of homes that we've sold, what we're doing. So we wanted to customize this section. I don't want to do it every time. Uh, we we did make some adjustments to, and I just saw uh, one I got to fix here. Uh, <laughs> our number three. Uh, what we just got this was a new update this last week, so I just we're showing this, so I need to fix that. But bringing in our primary markets, and then here's the other thing for us: not every agent has reviews yet but we do a lot of company generated leads. And we went in as an admin team, found some reviews uh, that we felt were good for anybody on the team to use because they spoke about the brokerage and the service and what we brought. So we brought in um, four reviews to put onto this template because any agent can now have this as a starting point. Uh, some edits to this section, again, that were just specific to this market because we're in multiple states. This page is a tiny bit different uh, in each state. Uh, so we just kind of came through and did that. So now it's super easy. So when somebody comes in, oh, let me back up one here. So now you don't want to edit everything. Instead of starting from this big green button that's starting from scratch, they hit duplicate. Same screen. They type in a name, right, of whatever they, they want, to, whoever they want to make this for. They scroll down and they hit generate. See all the reviews, everything were already there. This is now literally a five second, 10 second tool that you can use to generate and get this report. Uh, that report is, uh, you can grab the link, email it, text it, do whatever you wanna do uh, or print it. It's all printer friendly, all that. So really excited about this. I know we spent a good chunk of time on it, but it's very relevant right now. We wanna make sure uh, as we saw, we have some people on here that are clients, you have access to it or this tool alone I know some people have like a canvas sheet and all that. And I think that's great. That's better than nothing. I want a report that pulls in market data the day I click the button or the day the consumer refreshes that link. Uh, and it does that because it's tied to the data that Barry was saying that's super expensive to get, brings it into the report showing average price, listings, homes on market, all of that. And then also the IDX data are sold or active is all brought in part of it, which I think just takes this over the top. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to find the, okay. Can you yeah, there it can is. see it? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've gone over that. So we are working on uh, a featured listings page for your branded site. So that if, uh, so IDX agreements don't allow you, like your MLS will not allow us to alter the data in any way. So if your MLS uh, is following the NAR settlement, they're not putting anything about selling agent or buyer agent commission in the MLS. So we can't automatically do that for you. But what we are working on is a template on your page so that if you want to feature your listings and whatever uh, your seller is telling you they're willing to pay a buyer's agent, you can have a page like that on your website. We don't talk about this a lot, but you know, the Wilopo core site is built off of a platform called Squarespace. And the reason that's significant for you is normally when you're buying a website from a real estate provider, it's like you can upload a logo and change some colors. But other than that, you're kind of like, yeah, you got what you got. With this, you can do whatever you want on your website. Um, it's, it's very customizable. Yeah. And it is also a page that we're looking at. And again, we know every state's different. Every, every MLS is different giving you a space where you can bring in and talk about your listings and disclose or show whatever you want to, if it's allowed in your MLS. So it's really the piece behind this is what we really wanted to make sure as you're seeing here, if they allow you to advertise it. And, and again, we, we're just going to say it one more time because we, we don't usually get it in chat. We know every state, every MLS is a little bit different, what you're allowed to do or not do on your listings. So this is an optional page and enhancement that we've made uh, that we're bringing to our consumers or to our clients to be able to use this so that the consumers can see what's being offered by that seller. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, and so um, we, we, we've got a new property tour feature in the Wilopo ecosystem. And let me make sure I'm sharing for sound. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, and so this is, uh, it, it analyzes the photos and public record data and creates a voiceover tour. Um, so it doesn't, you don't have to type anything. We analyze it all and we create a walkthrough tour for you and then run an ad to an audience of people that are interested in shopping for a home. So the significance of this is video ads uh, are tend to be cheaper for exposure on Facebook than carousel photos. And because AI is where it's at, we're able to now create property tours for your clients. And that's just cheaper, more engagement, right? Yeah, more engagement, yeah. Welcome to your dream home. This beautiful two-story brick house is just waiting for you to make it your own. As we step inside, you'll notice how the charm of this property extends beyond its walls. The well-maintained lawn and wooden deck are perfect for those sunny afternoons you've been dreaming about. Speaking of outdoor spaces, check out this fantastic backyard. Can you imagine yourself relaxing on this new deck built just last year? It's the perfect spot for your morning coffee or evening barbecues. But wait, there's more. Look up at the roof. See those solar panels? They're not just for show. This home offers 150% solar production, which means you'll be saving a bundle on energy bills. How's that for eco-friendly living? Now let's step inside. Feel that? It's the warmth of home sweet home. These light colored walls and hardwood floors give the space such an airy feel. And those large windows? They're practically begging you to curl up with a good book and soak in the natural light. As we move through the house, you'll notice the open concept layout. It's perfect for keeping an eye on the kids while you're whipping up dinner or entertaining friends. Speaking of which, here's a room that could be anything you want it to be. A home office, a playroom, the possibilities are endless. And that accent wall. All right, so we got another minute of that video, but you get the idea, right? Like, oh, I want to make sure it is clear though, right? Like, where that all came from. I don't know if people that don't know or haven't been our webinars before, how is that all getting generated? How much work is going in from the agent writing it, narrating it all Nothing, that? zero. The, I wrote, we did, there was zero manual scripting for this. AI literally analyzed all of it, wrote the script, had the voiceover prompt automatically plugged in, and does this and they sell the home to the viewer, which is not something that we're accustomed to with property tours. Yep. That is analyzing the photos, I think, and the remarks, right? That's fed through is, is yes. the, 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 the combination there. So, yep. And um, they, they go, right. It's, you know, so it uses phrases like it's calling your name after a long day of work, you know? So, like, they really, they really try hard to uh, um, sell the property for you. And so, this is just a great way to feature your listings. And, you know, in light of that, oops, we, um, we email you a link. So when you get a new listing, we automatically see it. And then we email you, hey, uh, you know, here's a link to run this ad. And then after you run the ad, we email you a link to a report. Now, this report you can send to your sellers. And we're actually working on redoing this report right now. Uh, you know, really exciting changes. But what you're able to do is you're able to send to your seller, look how many people who saw your ad, 7,000 people. Look at how many people watched the video, 4,000 people. These are people that actually clicked for more info. And these, which is 515, and three of them, gave us their contact information. And then they can see, they can watch the ad you're running by clicking play right here. And so this, this is where, you know, as we, we know, marketing is, is partially about making your seller happy. It's also about trying to procure new clients. This product does both of those things because you're running the ad. You're, you, can, you can tell us to run it for leads or you can tell us to run it for exposure. I typically tell my agents just run it for leads. Um, so that they can get, get, you know, get opportunities off of the listings, but it, the choice is yours. And then you get to send this report to your client so that they know that you're working. We know that that's something that all listing agents struggle with. I mean, and talking points and data too, uh, let's just say for price reductions, we're seeing more price reductions than we've seen in a long time. 
right? And when, versus just going and asking for price reductions if needed, I can I can show them the hundreds or the thousands of people that have seen the ad and it's not resulting in offers yet, right? So it's giving me actual data that I've obtained from my marketing, right? Sellers are always like, well, what are you doing to try and get it seen or, or sold? I've got the data now to show them, right? That I'm getting hundreds, if not thousands of views on it. And as that trickles down, it's just easier if I'm presenting this, you know, whether it's week after week, every other week to have those conversations about getting price reductions. Yeah, um, absolutely. So just, just, just more tools for you to, to leverage, uh, not just to market, but then to, to leverage the data to get whether it's price reductions or one of the, our favorite things on showing one of those videos, Barry, and showing this report, we're, we're competing. Every Most agents mm-hmm. now are competing for listings, right? right? And versus just going in like every other agent and saying, trust me, you don't know me, but trust me, I promise I'm going to do marketing and I promise I'm going to do this. I can now show them videos, uh, video ads that I've already run. I can show them a report that they're going to get, right? So now I'm not just talking about it. I'm showing them what they're going to be provided by me to track what I'm telling them I'm going to do. Absolutely. So big initiative here is helping buyer leads surface seller leads. And we'll show you some data around this, but I'll just tell you the best seller leads are people that are looking to buy a new home and own a home currently. And while Lopo's made a bunch of changes with how they're generating buyer leads, because as an industry, we've always wanted seller leads, but now it's been, it's like even more important. And so with several strategic changes of buyer lead gen, we've been able to now optimize it to where 42% of all buyer leads that Wailopo generates say that they also have a home to sell. And then of those leads, 25% also give us their home address. That's a really, really big deal. Now, uh, you know, and, and I know that for us, Gabe, we've had a whole series of training around trying to convert sellers out of your buyers. Yeah, I, well, I mean, and this, I mean, this is just like service level, right? And, and and I hope people caught what you said. The best seller leads are people looking for homes who happen to own a home, right? And it, it, it sounds it sounds silly, but I I don't think a lot of agents think about it that way, right? right. I want to buy, and sometimes we are uh, overpaying trying to find somebody who's just selling, but we're not digging deep into the data and understanding how many twofers are out there and that just help the that percentage that do have a home to sell. Plus you're also getting just the buyer leads. Yeah, so we actually, we have access to all of our users um, CRM stage data. And what we've been able to see is that there is a 37% increase in quality when the person says, I have a home to sell. So what that means is over a third of the leads our users at Wailopo talk to end up being qualified compared to non-homeowners. So these really are just better leads. And so this optimization uh, is pretty significant. And it, we don't have a slide on it, but on average, the Wailopo lead is answering between seven and 22 questions when they register. And I don't know about you guys, but man, I'm I'm gonna, I'm bouncing after three questions if I register on a website. Um, and so, you know, th- this is not, this isn't something you pay extra for. This is just, you know, if you get buyer leads at Wailopo, you get this product, this product surfacing more sellers. So it was a global enhancement to all of our users. And you would get that if you bought the product. We also have signals so that our AI both calls and texts new leads. And if a homo, if they're a homeowner, there is a subtle way that AI tries to surface and discuss selling their home as well. I mean, that's something you and I've spent a lot of time on too. I don't want to just people to think this is like integration with chat GPT. Like we, Barry and I spent a lot of time going through some very intimidating and nauseating <laughs> spreadsheets of paths and what's going on and if they say this or how that happens how should it you know training the ai right to get these texts and getting them to learn our industry like we'll literally sit there sometimes and just obsess 
over a couple words, just a couple words and phraseology mm -hmm. in things and then monitor like, okay, well, this has opt out or this doesn't. So, you know, it's one of the great things is it's not just AI uh, doing this, it's we're learning it, right? Or we're teaching it and it's learning based on what we are seeing uh, in learning in the field and based on, you know, 20, 30 years of of experience in what we're doing, right? And it's not just us. There's a lot of others that are that are they're helping on this as well. Yeah, and then you know, as we're working on this, is a, a feature that's coming out soon. Is we're going to enhance the homeowners that we get the leads with demographic data. So, like, how likely are they to sell um, based on life events and other scoring platforms? Um, and then we'll also be looking at buyer leads and seeing, okay, based on their phone number and email is there a public record address that we can have? And subtly having the system bring up that we know that they own a home. Uh, when I say subtly, what we're not gonna have happen is somebody registers to look for homes to buy and then AI says, hey, saw that you own 123 Smith Street, can we talk about it? That would not work. But if we start sending offers to this buyer via email and text talking about if you happen to have a home to sell, there's something I need to talk to you about with regards to the process. You're like, so emphasizing it because we know that they own a home. Yeah. And I think the next slide, I, th I think, uh, oh shoot, did it skip over? Where am I at? Sorry. We're I at cash I... offer value propositions. Yep. Oh, oh, I th oh, sorry, I was on a different order. Uh, so another one, Con more sellers, right? More sellers, what's happening as we're servicing more of these people who are looking for homes that have a home to sell or just sell. Um, we have an incredible partnership uh, with Zudelio. Uh, if you have not, uh, we've got full on trainings on this. Um, don't have it on here. I'll, I'll put it in chat. Uh, but a full on partnership that costs zero extra. Uh, Delio, just put it in chat uh, with Zudelio. And what this is, is this gives you an entire bank of investors that you have in your back pocket that I just talked about literally my investor group. So now when you have people inquiring or expressing cash offers to have additional options for them. This is not a bait and switch. This is nothing. This is within seconds going in, typing an address uh, and it responding to you. And I'm, I'm talking like seconds. We're talking 15, 20 seconds, typing an address, hitting submit. It'll say, perfect. We've got four different offers, five different offers, two different offers, whatever it is. And then as you can see here, displaying for that potential seller, that client, what offers this investment group's willing to make. So flat out cash offers, uh, cash offers, uh, I'm not going to teach all the offers, but they got a cash plus, which is you get some money up front and then some later, you get a little bit more on it, fix it, list it, sell it now, rent it for a year, et cetera. But literally within just seconds, you now have additional options that you get paid on. Every one of their programs pays the agent that brought them the deal. Uh, and in every scenario, actually probably more than what you're going to get if you were to get the listing. So it's truly not a bait and switch. It is a providing different options and offers to these sellers, knowing you, the agent, are being taken care of. You're going to get paid on it and get the listing back in every scenario um, and truly getting what is the best decision and option for that seller. Um, I've, I've had others where they were so far off or it was only such a small buy box, meaning almost no homes qualified for it that it kind of was a bait and switch. This, we're having incredible success. Uh, over 80, 85% of the homes we put in do qualify. Uh, again, all of them compensate us as agents. We are getting more listing appointments, getting in the door to see homes than ever before because we're just even speaking to this. Majority of the consumers, 95 plus percent of them are not going with one of these. But this is what is getting us inside the door to speak to these people more than anything. They want to see these options. And again, this is a new partnership that is completely included with Wailopo. Costs zero extra dollars uh, to have this for you and your team to use. Anything else you want to add on to that, Barry? Honestly, uh, I mean, it's just for us, it's been such a talking point, bringing this data and these cash offers to potential sellers. Being able to mention that we have access to an institutional investor has just been really huge. And I mean, the fact that this platform is normally like $500 a month standalone and Wilopo customers get it for free, just a huge deal. So a lot of value there. And it's another one as we're going to, Barry and I are working on tying it with our other tech, right? How are they talking? How do our seller alerts 
ask for engagement that tie to this and stuff. So, so just another piece of the pie that we're, we're tying together for you. Absolutely. Um, so we're updating our seller experience. So uh, this isn't a full exhaustive overview of the seller experience, but I'll just summarize it by saying people that we have their address, we can email them how much equity they have in their home. And we also am ab are able to email them how many buyers we have looking for a home like theirs. So Bilopo scans your website, finds people looking for a home like this homeowners, puts them on a map, yep. shows the homeowner how many people are looking for a home like theirs. Currently, the, I'm not aware of any other website anywhere that can show current activity uh, of uh, buyer activity for your home. So it's a, it's a really big deal. What's cool about this is these are all tools that you have. We show them, right? The market trends, the our heat map and all that other stuff. But what's cool is because they're listening to us as agents, all right, great. The agents have these tools, but how much of it can we automate, go find the data for them, put it in front of consumers and then get them back information on who to act on. That's what's really cool here. It's not just, you have this big tool set, but it's really opening up those drawers, grabbing the tools and using them for you and then sending you uh, the activity based on that. So you know who to reach out to. So uh, yeah. also in great, uh, our seller 2.0 coming in, uh, going deeper, getting more engagement from all of our seller alerts. So it's not just a typical AVM that's going out, uh, but really getting granular. Did they just review the report? Did they go in and update maybe their home details? Did they go in and challenge or change the valuation that they saw on that high low, right? We're really going in, which is increase the amount of alerts that you're getting back. But, but a big part that Barry and I worked on is I just don't want more alerts. I want the alerts to be specific so I know why or how I want to reach out to this potential seller. So we really want to be right. deliberate and intentional with it. Yeah, absolutely. And with that, we're seeing a significant increase in homeowners engaging the content that we're sending them. So um, uh, of late, it's been a 30% increase in engagement um, just because there's so much valuable information that we're sending to homeowners. All right, AI text. So Wilopo has had AI texting since 2019, uh, but since 2019, uh, automated texting systems has changed a lot. You know, there's a lot of changes with regards to deliverability. Uh, it's similar to like how email systems look at spam, you know, and uh, and so now you have to say, uh, you know, something about stopping. And when those changes first came out, you know, a lot of people. We're, we're saying, I don't want to be texted because the, you know, they saw, uh, you know, we, we get those texts, right, Gabe? Like reply, stop to end, you know? Well, after a lot of work, Gabe and I and the, and the copy team have been able to reduce the number of people that say, I don't want you to text me talking to our AI down to three and a half percent. I'm still blown away by that. Again, those, and I, I was off on the deck. I'm like, that's what I thought was coming up earlier. Like we literally have obsessed over these sheets and the verbiage and just like, literally can't even tell you guys like over a word or two words or is it should this a word comma. be at the beginning or at the end like like crazy stuff like that just that just but look at the results right i mean insane results because we're seeing what's happening who's opting out yeah. and how do we change this or speak more of their language and less realtor talk absolutely so ai wilopo uh sends ai text uh, Wilopo converts a significant percentage of AI text conversations to appointments for you. And Wilopo AI also has the ability to call your leads. The plan start for AI voice as low as $250 a month. And uh, uh, Wilopo AI calls the lead 14 times over 90 days. Right now, Wilopo AI voice is enjoying a 52% answer rate. On new leads. I have never had over half of my new leads from Google and Facebook answer the phone. I mean, it's just quite remarkable, to be honest with you. I had to double check the numbers. And of the 50% of conversations that are answering, 10% of them are becoming live transfers for the entire company. So, and, and what we're working on is you see here inside of the CRM, AI is now what we're developing is the ability to provide substantive notes with regards to what's occurred in the conversation. Um, and so this is, this is something that's never been done before. 
to have AI making these types of calls with the results that we're enjoying and to have it deeply integrated in your CRM. It's just been a game changer. And then uh, we're displaying the AI voice uh, in a widget. So you'll be able to see exactly what your ISA is doing. You'll be able to see the last time that it was called, what the outcome was. If it's not running, if AI voice is not calling, then it says that, you know, it's not eligible because you, you put it in a stage that says warm basically, or cold or, you know, because you determine, you tell Wilopo what stages in your CRM you want AI to be calling or texting and those stages we're respecting. That's, and that's what this widget will do. There's a bit better visibility, right? We just wanna make sure that you guys have great visibility, who's getting called, who's not, was it transferred? When's the next call or when was the last call? All of that, just so you guys have the idea what's, what's, what's going on in the database of these leads. All right, so let me stop sharing for a second. Um, the next five slides have to do with Maverick. So Wilopo is a digital marketing company that is the leader in AI. It generates leads, keeps the leads on your website, builds your brand, provides you tools for client procurement as we've already gone over. Wilopo has started a sister company called Maverick. And Maverick is, um, in my opinion, a lead manager. Like if you were to hire someone just to manage your leads, uh, it's a lead manager. It's an ops person analyzing your reporting and, and things like that. And a sales manager, which, which salespeople on your team are doing well and not doing well. And so um, it's interesting that they, you know, that we're going to be going over this, but I'm, I'm going to go, you know, I'm just going to follow the, uh, let's see, let me stop sharing for a second. Where do I? Let's see. Where did Google disappear? Go? Here it is. Anyway. Here it is. Yeah. I think a big part of it is we also have some data data analytics, right? That pull from their Wilopo from their FUB that'll show them the benefits if they had this. So yeah. again, it's just again all about let's see, there it goes. All right. Oh, I I, I made a mistake. Um so we also we're we're gonna be sending a monthly digest to you of like what leads uh we converted for you and what leads answered, what the live transfer rates are, and all that stuff. So next is Maverick. Um and uh you know, there's a, a sales coach component we'll go over in a second. There's an AI video coaching. So basically. Maverick is programmatically listening to every conversation that's happening in your CRM and automatically grading it, automatically, uh, you know, uh, giving coaching tips. And what we're working on is helping to provide AI video coaching to the agents. What's cool about this is although this video, I, I believe, uh, if I recall, it's a video of me. Uh, you're going to be able, if you own a team, you're going to be able to upload some content and we're going to, I call it deep faking. Uh, you, so basically your agents are going to have be talking to you on how to do better, but it's not you. It's your computer version of you. Start fresh. Please go ahead and give your pitch on how you plan to sell my home at a premium. Can you guys hear this? Hey Barry, yep. here's the goal for today. I want to walk you through everything it's going to take to sell your home at a premium. How does that sound? Sounds good. I'm ready to hear your approach. But before you start, can you tell me what your commission rate will be for this sale? My standard rate is 2.75%. I'm really glad I'm not wearing that blue polo. Um, <laughs> it's just weird, you know? But so basically, we're going to be able to deep fake you um, to help train your Super agents. Fresh. Um, uh, we'll be able to deep fake you and do recruiting and onboarding. So here's another example. Hey, this is Barry Jenkins with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I've had an interesting learning experience recently with my agents that I've made into a little case study, and I wanted to share the results with you. One of my agents, who we will call Agent A, started with me about a year ago, and we found that he was only asking for appointments with leads. So it's kind of like bomb bomb for recruiting, only it's going to take the data from Maverick and allow you to market the results of your team programmatically. So basically, if your team has seen an increase of appointments in 20 over 20% in the last 30 days, 
You can click a button. Maverick is going to send a recruiting email that says, my agents are enjoying a 20% increase in appointments. You should come join my firm. And it'll look like you, but it's not you. It's it's the deep faked version of you. I know this is like, it's out there, but look, the, the future's here. Hey, and, this is Barry uh, Jenkins. Um, if you want a free Maverick Daily Digest, so this is where we analyze your CRM, we look for missed opportunities. So right now, Maverick looks for 19 missed opportunities in the CRM. And an example that's particularly annoying is leads call my agents back. Uh -huh. And hours go by and my agents don't call them back. So I can click a button and nudge all of my agents that have one of these 19 rules. I don't know about you, Gabe, but for me, this has really changed my organization uh, because agents are worried about losing their leads. Um, I've never had that that uh, that dynamic in my business before, and it's really yeah. got them focused. The, the dynamic and then just having that sales manager in a box that's not, you know, whatever you pay a sales manager these days, right? Committed, all that. So just, it's it's in there. It just, it's helping you surface a lot of this data to just get eyes on it. And no, and again, these digest reports and stuff will come to you regardless, right? You can get these exactly. reports that analyzes that data. So we're down to like a minute. So Wilopo customers can get a free. So Maverick is a separate product, but we've just rolled out to where if you want access to us finding all your missed opportunities for free, why Lopo customers get that free, okay? You don't have to buy Maverick just to get the digest. Right. Um, and uh, and so here's an image of the nudges. Um, lead texted, but did not text back. There's, you know, hot leads that haven't been called back. Leads that saved a home that nobody's reached out to. Just a lot that you'll have free access to in Maverick just as being a Why Lopo client. If any of this is interesting to you, I don't know why it wouldn't be, I want you to go ahead and schedule a demo. You can either go to demo.ylopo.com or you can scan the QR code because it goes to a little bit of a deeper, it's on still demo at ylopo.com, but it's a little bit of a deeper site. And, um, and that way, and just mention this webinar, there's a special promotion that they're offering. Yeah. Okay, and this is just really what we've, really a lot of what we've worked on and have delivered here uh, through Q2. There's a lot more that we're going through right now that we're working on, we're excited. It's, I mean, this isn't stopping, uh, literally leading up to just minutes prior to this on another really exciting uh, opportunity that we're gonna be bringing that is tying more of our AI tools and texting and a lot of that to other parts of your business. So I'm not gonna go too deep into that, but really exciting stuff that, uh, that we're working on. So again, it was fun. To be able to do this because there's a lot of stuff that Barry and I've got to work on together and build for you guys kind of from the trenches and that we saw were, were areas that need improvements or just new features like the buyer presentation that didn't exist or nobody else has. To right. have it All right. Sounds good. We I can't believe we got through all this in an hour. To be honest yeah. with you, I didn't think we were going to be able to. But. We hit a few, but yeah, there. I mean, service level. We go deeper on a lot of it, training, a lot more tools, all that. But yeah, uh, good stuff. All right. Sounds good, guys. Have a fantastic day and let us know if you ever have any questions. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.